Hi everyone, welcome back to Healing Days Oracle or welcome if you're new. Today we have your Yazono Pick a Card of the Week. I added this video at the beginning of the week to help you out with a question that you know you need a simple yes or no answer. And today we have few options, quick answers for you. If you're new, consider subscribing. All my links are below if you want to have a private reading with me, anything from my Etsy shop, the crystals you see in front of you and there's much more there. Also, if you want to become a patron of this channel, I do have six different levels for you to connect with me. We do have patrons only lives as well, and we do have fun with that. Today we have eight options. So group one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whichever one calls your attention first is most likely the right one. But of course, you can watch the full video, see which one resonates the most, or choose different questions for different piles as well. And it's going to be a quick answer here with one card. I do mix and match. Some weeks I do add long readings and some weeks just quick ones. I do have a full playlist of my uh, yes or no uh, pick a card. So make sure to check that if you want longer readings with more details. And this week it's a quick one and we're still on the Halloween theme here. So whenever you're watching this, that's the week of, you know, the still October Halloween month here for us. Also, I do have um, autumn sales going on on my Etsy shops. I do have two Etsy shops, one for the crystals, one for my decks that I create. So check that if you're interested as well. As always, my details, the cards that I use, a way for to support this channel, everything will be on the description below. Again, guys, group 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Timestamp below. Thanks for watching. It's straight to group 1. We will start here with this card. So if you chose this one, it's the Halloween Tarot. Yes or no? We do have Nine of Pumpkins. Nine of Pumpkins is the Nine of Pentacles. So I do feel like this is you stepping into your power, manifesting here, seeing the result of hard work. So it is yes for you straight away here with the Nine of Pent uh, Pumpkins, Pentacles anyway. But I do feel like uh, it's an energy of you stepping into your power. You could have been working really hard and it is time for you to see the result here of your hard work. To really see, okay, I have been working on myself to get ready for a relationship. I have been working a lot on manifesting my career, my job, the things that I want to do. Anything that you're trying to resolve, manifest, it is yes. This yes for negative questions as well, positive or negative questions. But you are stepping into your power. I feel like your hard work will pay back. So if you wanted to reach out to someone, if you want to resolve the situation, it is yes. But you can still, you know, keep your power and be able to do the things that you want. This is a very uh, single energy as well. You are doing the things that you know you are happy about. So make sure you are connecting with what's important for you, who is important for you, what do you want around you, who do you want around you. And you keep that. It's a lot of abundance as well with the Nine of Pentacles, financial abundance, but that fulfillment of your heart, you know you're on the right path. You know you're doing the things that you are happy about. So don't forget about you. Even if you have to take care of other people, even if you have to, you know, really take care of family, business, bills, anything that you have to do. Yes, you have, you know, all the potential here to manifest, resolve things, and you still have time for you doing things that you enjoy, you like. So no doubt, yes for you, group one. Nine of pumpkins, hard work, payback. You see all the manifestations, the abundance, the blessings of your hard work. So even if it's a negative question, you can turn things around. And it really feels here that you will step into your power here, your energy, and uh, focus on you as well. And you will be able to manifest what you want. That's what I have here for you, group one. I hope this helps you out. Let me know if it does. Again, my links are below. If you want to have a private reading with me, anything from my Etsy, connect with me through Patreon. And as always, I wish you a lovely, blessed and healing day. Thanks for watching. Group two, if you chose the Dark Wood Tarot, your card is Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is that connection. Could be a connection of the heart, could be a love connection, could be a business connection. So I do feel like this is yes for you guys, especially if you're trying to connect with someone. And also, like I said, it could be love, could be business, could be trying to find an agreement here, a deal a middle ground, the balance, the two really connect, you know, so you can see the two connecting here. So I do feel like, yes, this is yes for you, group two, and you are going to be able to resolve something, bringing balance to something, connect with someone. Maybe it's being honest with someone, having a conversation here, open your heart as well, because the cups, the connection with your emotions, the heart, and it could be a love connection for many of you if you're asking about love. It is yes for positive or negative questions. But maybe connecting, you know, with your heart, being able to have a conversation with someone is going to be able to resolve the situation in case it's a negative question. But it is yes. 
two of cups here really uh, helps you to bring a deal as well and a middle ground maybe you needed to find here some kind of agreement maybe maybe something that both parts are happy with and also having a conversation finding here what's the best for both sides so whatever you're working on and you need to maybe you're thinking you wanted to do things your way i feel like in this situation you will need to get maybe an advice from someone a help from someone have a conversation with someone that you can find that middle ground or that uh, you know resolution here of finding the balance so everybody is happy i do see here guys you're finding that even if right now you you want the things to do and you see that there's only one-sided maybe situation one-sided relationship or you don't know how we're going to be able to find a solution here this card is telling you you're going to be able to find a middle ground and really a resolution that everybody's happy with again a connection of the heart communication here in case you needed to connect with someone love connections okay so anything here guys really it feels like you find that agreement you find that deal you find the connection of the heart so no doubt group two it is a yes for you and you know allow flexibility as well in case you still need to resolve or have a conversation you need to find that that um, you know uh, both sides will be happy anyway that's what i have here for group two i hope this helps you out to resonate in some way if it does let me know leave me a comment you know i'm always happy to hear from you if you want an extension of this reading or any other questions my link is below for private readings as well for my etsy shop the crystals you see in front of you and much more is there also i have a patreon account you have six different ways to connect with me if you're new consider subscribing like and share this video it helps the channel very much and as always i wish you a lovely blessed and healing day thanks for watching hi group three if you chose the wizard tarot, your card is eight of pentacles a lot of hard work here with the eight of pentacles you can see here you know the hard work but being able to see the results as well so i do see this as a yes for your group three and straight away eight of pentacles i feel like the guides are just telling you there's still work to be done you will see the results of your hard work but to not give up now there's still things that will happen there's still things that are you know unfolding here for you and your hard work will pay back Maybe you're working hard here on yourself, getting healed, getting ready for a connection, a relationship. Maybe working hard on your career, on your studies, you know, getting ready here to open a door, to open a door of your career, of your own business or applying for other conne uh, connections or jobs. It really feels like uh, there's a lot of hard work that is happening and the guides are telling you, you still have work to be done. Don't give up yet. This is manifesting anyway. But it may be some of you will have to wait a little bit in case you need a time frame for this answer here, for this manifestation, for these resolutions. There's a little bit of a time here, but don't give up now because you're nearly there anyway. And uh, for positive or negative questions too. So negative questions it still is, is a yes, but hard work can pay back. Maybe this hard work is communicating with someone, talking with someone, having a conversation or just working on yourself and being able to have patience here waiting. Because it feels like there's a need to craft and be able to really get skilled here in the situation. So if you are studying, if you are working hard here on you know, developing new skills, really being able to apply for new positions and grow here in your career, see more money coming away, you'll see the results, you know, especially financial here, but also for any other areas of your life, anything that you're asking, the hard work will pay back. Like I said, you know, maybe working on yourself, maybe working on healing, Maybe working on waiting on your patience, waiting for the situation to unfold. And the guides are saying it's going to be worth the wait. You know, your hard work will pay back, no doubt. Yeah, it is yes here for you. Group three, yes for positive or negative questions, but you will see the results either way. That's what I have here for you, group three. I hope this helps you out to resonate in some way. If it does, let me know, leave me a comment. You know, I'm always happy to hear from you. If you want an extension of this reading or any other questions, my link is below for private readings as well for my Etsy shop. Everything you see in front of you and much more is there. If you're new, consider subscribing. Like and share this video, it helps the channel very much. And as always, I wish you a lovely, blessed and healing day. Thanks for watching. Hi, group four. If you chose the Everyday Witch Tarot, group four, you have Page of Wands. You can see here a new journey for you guys. Group four. Page of Wands talks about something starting, you know, something that uh, is brewing there in your heart, in your fire, your passions. There's definitely an energy of starting again, a new journey here. You can see uh, getting ready for this. I do see this as a yes for your group four, but it is an energy of not being afraid that you start again. 
Because the page of wands is building, you know, that fire, that passion, the things you wanted to do, the people you want to connect with. This is also energy of fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So it feels that with the page energy, something is starting and sometimes we hesitate or sometimes it's uh, harder to build the courage to take some steps. And the page gives you the energy of moving through the fears. Even if there is a need to, you know, build the courage, I feel like it's just a matter of taking some steps. It's one step at a time. You will be able to resolve, manifest this, but it's one step at a time. Even if it's a new journey, don't be afraid of starting. Don't be afraid of letting go of other things that are not serving anyway and follow your heart, your passion. Maybe you wanted to connect with someone. Maybe it's new, maybe someone back into your life. Maybe it's having a conversation with someone you already have. Maybe starting a new journey for a new job, a new career, your own business. You know, even if there are fears there of starting, of doing something that is different, that is new. The page gives you that, you know, initial courage to take at least one step. And then you have another courage and then another step. A little bit more courage and, you know, you keep going. But it feels like uh, even if you feel fearful, if you don't know all the answers, how this will happen for you, how this will manifest or resolve for you, it is yes, you can do it. You know, so ho don't hold yourself back. Even if there are fears, you can still move through the fears. And that's how it feels here. The guides are telling you, take action. Don't hold back. You know, in your heart is the right thing to do. Follow that fire, that passion. It is yes for positive or negative questions. So maybe this is a negative question. It's still a yes. But you can still, you know, follow your heart here and maybe have a conversation with someone, talk to someone, resolve this in some way. Follow your heart here. Even if it's letting go, maybe it's very negative. It is yes, and you want to let go and you take your own path. You want to do your own thing. Follow your heart here. And there's an energy of moving here as well. Maybe some of you are moving house, cities, jobs, relationships. Follow your heart. As long as you know in your heart is the right thing to do, is your passion, your fire. Even if there are fears, you can still move through the fears here and keep going on your path that's going to really guide you towards what is your soul's growth, your soul's evolution, what you really want is connecting to who you are. Yeah, definitely yes for you, group four. That's what I have here for you, group four. I hope this helps you out and resonates in some way. If it does, let me know, leave me a comment. If you want an extension of this reading or any other questions, my link is below for private readings as well for my Etsy shop. Everything you see, the crystals you see in front of you and much more is there. If you're new, consider subscribing. I do have also a Patreon account if you want to connect with me. There's six different levels. And as always, I wish you a lovely, blessed and healing day. Thanks for watching. Hi, group five. If you chose the multicultural tarot, your card is the Four of Swords. Four of Swords talks about the energy of, you can see here, relaxing, having patience, you know, being able to learn with the past as well. I do feel like this is no for you, group five, is the energy of waiting. Maybe it's not yet for a situation that you wanted to manifest, but there's definitely no for something negative that maybe you're asking something that is negative. It is a no. You can relax. You can wait. You can have patience in the situation. I feel the Four of Swords is telling you, learn with the past. The Four of Swords is the energy of after battles, being able to think here, what have you learned with those battles? What is going on with those challenges? Are you using them as a stepping stones for you to be able to learn, to evolve, to grow? The Four of Swords is asking you for patience to see things from a perspective of what's my lesson here. So it feels like uh, it's, it's a need to wait here, having patience. Again, if something positive you wanted to manifest, I feel like it's not yet. Or something better can come along the way. It can be a no. I always say no is a blessing because, you know, something much better can come along the way. Or we get something too early, too soon, and we lose again. And also, you wanted to, if you wanted to have patience here with yourself for healing as well, you can see it's a lot of water energy, even though it's the sword, it's a lot of learning. So you can learn with the past and you're able to allow healing, allow forgiveness, allow patience here. So anything that you're trying to resolve or manifest here, the guides are telling you, not yet, it's an, a need to build some foundations because the four brings the pillars of the foundations as well. So maybe there are still things that needed to happen for you to understand more about the situation. The sword is about knowledge as well, learning, getting to know someone, getting more information about the situation. So maybe there is something else for you to do going deeper here about getting to know someone or more information about a job or something you wanted to do, manifest, study, or information here that you can get. Take your time. Don't rush into anything. And take this time for you to understand what do you really want. Do you really want to 
to manifest or resolve the situation as is, or there's something ca that can come better for you, or can the situation, if you have patience, manifest in the right moment for you. So I feel like it's no or not yet. Anyway, for the situation, take what's resonating. Doesn't mean like you're not going to manifest, but it could be something better in the future. Have patience for now and uh, do what you needed to do for you right now. Like I said, it could be healing, could be more information, get to know someone. Don't rush into anything. I feel like it's what the guides are saying. And learn with the past so you don't repeat the same cycles, the same mistakes. So you get out of patterns as well. It's a lot of learning with the Four of Swords. So no or not yet, but something better can come along the way or you can manifest this in the future. So have patience for now and pay attention to your lessons. That's what I have here for your group five. I hope this helps out or resonates in some way. If it does, let me know, leave me a comment. You know, I'm always happy to hear from you. If you want an extension of this reading or any other questions, my link is below for private readings as well for my Etsy shop. All the crystals you see in front of you and there's much more there. If you're new, consider subscribing. Like and share this video, it helps the channel very much. And as always, I wish you a lovely, blessed and healing day. Thanks for watching. Hi, group six. If you chose the light seers, tarot your card is death and rebirth so you can see with death and rebirth is a lot of transformation so there's a lot of changes here for you the things that uh, are needed to cut away and leave behind the death is ending something so you allow a rebirth so you allow you can see here what goes around comes around and then being able to renew in some way i do feel like this is no or not yet for you guys it doesn't mean like it's not going to happen because we do have a rebirth here of a situation, but it's a death first. First is an ending. First is letting go of what's not serving. Maybe it's a place, a person, an attitude, a bad habit. Maybe it's, you know, something that you know is not serving. Negativity, stress, overthinking. And the, the guides are telling you, allow that to close. Because when we release, it doesn't mean like you're giving up on the situation, but it really feels like it's being able to Trust the universe for the rebirth whenever is the right moment as well. So I feel like, again, it's like a no for negative questions. It could be no for like your situation that you wanted to manifest or, re or resolve, but it's still like it's not yet or it's not exactly how you're thinking. It's a rebirth. It's something that is, you know, coming up in a different way. So don't be afraid of letting go. Death here, closing chapters, you know, closing maybe cycles that are repeating over and over patterns of the same kind of relationship, the same kind of job, the same kind of situation that you're not happy with. Allow the close so you allow a rebirth as well on the right moment, on the right time. doesn't mean like you're not manifesting this, but it could be a rebirth a little bit ahead. I feel like the guides are asking you to wait a little bit, you know, so you can manifest something much better. Many times we manifest, uh, we want something so soon and we bring that into our reality, but it's not the right moment, the right person, the right situation the right job for you anyone happy and if you wait a little bit you have a rebirth of something that is what is meant to be what you're happy with so i feel like it's no or not yet they want resonating no for negative questions anyway but allow a rebirth or allow a transformation here to see things from a different way transformation here many times comes with healing with uh, you know seeing someone change as well or you change or situation really transform in front of you Miracles as well. Sometimes we really think like it's impossible to resolve the situation. You can manifest in a completely different way, in a situation, in a way that you are happy with. So I feel like no, not yet. Okay, guys, again, take what's resonating. Allow doors to close. So there's a rebirth. It's a death. It's a closing of chapters, but it's a rebirth as well. So I do feel like, yes, you manifest ahead or you manifest something much better or some other doors will open for you. Resolve the situation in a different way. Yeah, that's what I have here for your group six. I hope this helps you out or resonates in some way. If it does, let me know. Leave me a comment. You know, I'm always happy to hear from you. If you want an extension of this reading or any other questions, my link is below for private readings as well for my Etsy shop, the crystals you see in front of you, and much more is there. Also, I do have a Patreon account if you want to connect with me. There's six different ways to connect. We do have uh, special patrons-only lives as well. We do have fun with that. So don't miss it out in case you are interested. If you're new, consider subscribing, like and share this video. It helps the channel very much. And as always, I wish you a lovely, blessed and healing day. Thanks for watching. Hi, group seven. If you chose the Dancing in the Dark Tarot, your card is Three of Cups. Three of Cups is really that energy of being able to celebrate. You can see here with friends, with family, celebrations, maybe celebrations after battles. But I do see this as yes for you. 
reasons to celebrate, guys. Maybe you have gone through challenges or battles and difficult times. The cups allow, you know, the transformation, the healing, the good times to come after maybe some battles or difficult decisions or having to balance many things and trying to really understand what's important for you. So it comes with healing, with a you know, balance of emotions, celebrations after battles, but no reasons here to worry or stress out. I feel like you can get help here from friends as well. Maybe this is a negative question. Still, it's a yes. But a friend here, family member, people that can help you out, can guide you, can help you to go deeper, allow healing, allow understanding of the situation. It is reasons to celebrate here, guys. Maybe you are attending a gathering. Maybe you're going out with friends. This is also allowing yourself to take time for you. Do things that you enjoy with family, with friends, with loved ones. Connect with someone. But being able to really understand that you can take time for you too. Even if you're very busy, even if things are difficult there that you have to you know, find the time for you. Find a little bit of time. It doesn't mean like it's a long time or you need to take time off maybe some of you but i do see here time that you will spend with family friends with people you trust having conversations sharing being able to get advice or give advice as well it will help you in this situation to manifest resolve these see things from different perspectives see things from other people's perspective as well but i really see happy times coming even if there were challenges or difficult times before these or maybe you have been working hard and you didn't see the result of this situation yet. You will see reasons here that you'll be really happy about. Contentment of the heart. Reasons to celebrate, no doubt. Family, friends, people around you. Really being happy with yourself, first of all. And whoever's involved and around you too. Yeah, no doubt. Positive energy here. And yes for you, group 7. That's what I have here for you, group 7. I hope this helps you out to resonate in some way. If it does, let me know. Leave me a comment. You know, I'm always happy to hear from you. If you want an extension of this reading or any other questions, my link is below for private readings as well for my Etsy shop, the crystals you see in front of you and much more is there. Also, I do have a Patreon account if you want to connect with me. There's six different levels and we do have fun with that. If you're new, consider subscribing, like and share this video. It helps the channel very much. And as always, I wish you a lovely, blessed and healing day. Thanks for watching. Group 8, if you chose the Shadowland Tarot, you do have Knight of Wands. You can see all the fire, the passion of the Knight of Wands here. I do feel like this is a yes for you, group eight. Okay, group eight. Because this is a connection here of the heart, the fire, the passion. The Knight of Wands is also action. It's telling you to do something. You wanted to move, you wanted to have a, a new job, a new relationship, or, you know, connect with someone. Follow your heart, your passion. Take action. Because the Knight of Wands is moving. You know, it's not waiting for something to happen. He's going after what he wants. Fire, passion, following that for your career, for your love life. This is also connections here with the fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It really feels here that the guides are telling you, go for after what you want. And this is yes for negative questions too. So if you need to go after someone and have a conversation, or ask why is this the case? Because it's showing yes, even for negative things. But you can really go after what you want. You can you know, defend your position. You can step into your power. You can stand up here and do something about it. And also, just don't hold back here and wait for a solution. The guides are telling you, maybe there's still work to be done and you will see the results. But there's a need that you take action here to follow your heart, your passion. Do something about it. You know you feel in your heart that this is the right thing to do. Whether it's communicating with someone, apply for a new job, start your own business, study something, get more information, connect with someone. Don't be afraid. Because the Knight of Wands energy is stepping into your courage as well. Many times we needed to build the courage, but the Knight of Wands is telling you, you already have that courage inside you. Just tap into it and you will be able to resolve, manifest the situation, positive or negative questions. You are able to do it. You already have all the courage you need to manifest this. You have all that fire inside of you. Follow that fire, that passion in your heart and you're able to manifest, resolve this. And I feel like it's an energy of something which is manifesting, resolving fast as well. There's an energy of fast forward energy, you know, taking action and you see the results quite soon. If you have been waiting so long and you didn't see the results so far, this is it. Maybe it's one extra push here for you. If you have already been working and you didn't see the results, you are really nearly there. Even, not all questions need time frame, but I'm just being guided to tell you. You are very, very close here. So don't be afraid of changes, of taking action 
and you will manifest what you want and it feels like very soon resolve as well in case of negative questions something to resolve and you can see here there's a luggage here so maybe some of you could be moving could be trying something new connecting with someone who's far anything guys that you need to do follow your heart your passion you will be able to manifest resolve the situation really fast that's what i have here for your group eight i hope this helps you out to resonate in some way if it does let me know leave me a comment if you want an extension of this reading or any other questions my link is below for private readings as well for my etsy shop the crystals you see in front of you and much more is there if you're new consider subscribing like and share this video it helps the channel very much and as always i wish you a lovely blessed and healing day thanks for watching